Hello everyone, I am back here with one more interesting video. This video is quite interesting because we saw so many things in the world. Recently in one of the movies, I even saw a restaurant on track. The same way, I am going to show you a house on the track. Surprising, right? Yeah, I am talking about tiny houses. Instead of me talking about tiny houses, let's go and see how it looks and what is there inside the house and everything. Let's go. So let's go into the tiny house. Hello Vengo. Hello Rapish. Thank you very much for inviting me. And yeah, I am so fascinated about this tiny house which you built. And I would like to know what made you to think about tiny house and uh, what, what is the interest behind this you know it's it's kind of out of box thinking according to me yes so, well yeah. actually it's out of the box thinking inside the box <laughs> <laughs> this is the smallest two room apartment in germany we call it wonder home and uh, yeah the idea behind the tiny house movement is to rethink the way how we organize housing in uh, big cities like berlin where are you from from india i'm from andhra pradesh which is in Andhra Pradesh? No, uh, yeah, I'm okay. from Nellore basically. But it's, a, it's also a big city, right? Yeah, it is a big city. Yeah. You see, big cities where a lot of people are, there are a lot of like questions and problems and challenges. Right. And uh, yeah, how, how do we deal with these uh, questions? That's, uh, that's my focus. That's my son. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> so, like, shall we go and see the house? Yeah, please. Yeah. Have a look. Uh, Vanbo, how long it took for you to build this house? The planning uh, was like one year and the construction process was like two months, eight weeks. I don't like one and a half years? Somewhere yeah, so to say, yeah. And what is the material you, I mean, what is the material which you have used here? The material here is wood. This is all wood. Wow. And this is uh, plexiglass. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it's a wooden construction. We have here a small room. It's uh, you know we use it as a as a dining dining room, or my kids uh, love to play here. Oh. And uh, yeah, we it's a very small room, but um, I mean it's enough to to dine, to to eat, or to do homework for two persons or three persons. And, um, 
well and then I can show you the and this is kind of like living room well and yeah drawing room how to s yeah maybe a room, room. all in one yeah it's all in one <laughs> and like basically like how many people can live here two it's made for two people it's for two two mm. people yeah for this uh, how many square meters it's fif it's 15 square meters 15 square meter 15 room. yeah but it looks so good it looks and bigger right yeah, yeah it's very bigger and material what you have used is really good wood well, i can see here yeah but it's very ordinary wood it's not a special wood and architecture is really really good it's yeah. it's all you designed this architecture yes inside I've designed the house it. you see wow. this is a window here and uh, it separates the the dining room from the bathroom uh -huh. this and, uh, Oh, there's a that's, that's a bathroom with shovel, okay. And there's the toilet here. Oh, what sort of toilet is this? This is a camping toilet, actually. Camping. Camping. Ah, camping toilet. Yeah. Oh, wow. And do we have? Oh, there's a sink. Yeah, there's a sink, so you can wash water here. As you said, it's for two two people, like two people. newly married guys can be. Or a woman, a mother with a child. A mother with a child, yeah. yeah. And what about shower inside? Yeah. Normally in shower. tiny rooms, showers will be very small. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this place for fun. bathroom will be very small. Yeah, it's just so this uh, is pretty one much square good. meter. I mean, it's inspired by it from trains. Ah, wow. <laughs> There's also light. Where is it? So it's a light as well. Curtain looks very good. And what about like space? Uh, storage space and all well we don't have much sp storage space here we have here this shelf okay actually this is my uh, fridge look it's oh, a very small a fridge. fridge as well yeah you can just put like uh, some some beer here inside or butter and that's it <laughs> very small fridge. Yeah. yeah and uh, this this shelf is meant to be for cl clothes like uh, you know pullovers or maybe also books but often people use it as a as a shelf for the kitchen so you can put here some some items like this grocery here. stuff etc grocery, yeah. yeah and um we have we got so here. many shelves here all these are used for storage well yeah people we can decorate as well yeah and here we can put some plants etc exactly bring yeah. some life into the house yeah Plants are a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> and what about kitchen? This is the kitchen. I mean, it's very small, but it's very effective. And uh, well, here's a <laughs> keep some storage. Yeah, just very small. <laughs> and uh, here's uh, water. Water, okay. You know, because here on this side we don't have a water plug, and this is the the, the shower tank. It's oh, this is a shower tank. Okay. Yes, it it boils. It's a boiler. It boils the water hot uh -huh. for shower. Wow. It's very well designed in a small space, and kitchen is really good. Lights which you kept here. Uh, this gives beauty to the kitchen. In fact. And what about this room? So this is like uh, the bedroom. This is Helmut. Yeah. Okay. Helmut doesn't belong Hi. to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah, here's some space for a bed sofa. Should I move? No, you can stay here. Ah, yeah, and okay. the table. And uh, I often use it as my office, mm -hmm. you know, to, uh, to, to host uh, friends or partners or people to come here. And... Um, yeah, this is where I sit and work. And you got uh, a beautiful lamp as well. <laughs> and interiors are very good. Uh, though it doesn't look for me as a tiny house, basically. It doesn't look right, yeah, yeah. because it's inspired by Bauhaus, you know. Mm -hmm. If you look from the outside, you will see it's the facade of the world famous Bauhaus building in Dessau. Dessau is a very small town in Germany where um, the Bauhaus school was very famous. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you also have some storage space here as well. Yes. To but keep that, jackets and all. That's only, we have just have three storage spaces, uh, the, the closet there. Uh -huh. And then there's a little space uh, here in the stage. 
down there. Oh, down there. Okay. Yeah. That's sufficient, I believe. Yeah. You can Quite put a, a, yeah. a buggy for kids there, for example, and um, that's it. Yeah. And this is one more door to go outside. Yes. There's another door from where we can exit. Yeah. We, we always, in order. our tiny houses, we always have two doors. Yeah. We always have two doors in our tiny houses because we believe in um, sharing and caring. That means sharing is like sharing knowledge or sharing uh, pictures, books. So? An exhibition. This would be the space there. Mm -hmm. You know, people can Does come from that door it? and then yeah. ha can see an exhibition. Yeah. And, and this door opens to a space which could be like more caring, which means it's more private. Like you know, people could live here, or yeah. Yeah. we can help homeless people to sleep here, while in the other room there's a, an exhibition or something official. So it's always the two things, private and public, in one in one tiny house. Well, like it's it's kind of your personal room, bedroom, exactly. and there where your friends and all, yeah. if they come, yeah. you can have a small chat or something like that. For example. Yeah. Well, and a, a, a kitchen in the middle, it, it's really good in fact. And uh, ventilation is extremely good and when we see, sleep here, uh, you can see all the stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you're romantic, then you can see the stars. <laughs> yeah. And what about like yeah. water and electricity for this house? Well, electricity is like, uh, you know, um, we, we need electricity from, from somewhere, from our neighbors. Okay. We uh, call these neighbors W partners. Mm. W means warmth, Wi Fi, and uh, water. So our W partner is this uh, Villa Elizabeth. That's the name of that house. Okay. And uh, they provide us with electricity. Come on, with Bobby. <laughs> so electricity and water, everything you get it from neighbors. Yeah. And what about like I mean, uh, like mull? I mean, a wastage of water and all. Where you'll mm -hmm. dump it and all. Well, we have a small bucket, uh -huh. which is under the tiny house. Okay. That's it. The water goes in and then we have to put it in the toilet there. Puppy, uh -huh. yeah. can I find you? How much it cost you oh. to build this house? How much it costed you? The cost of a tiny house is always 50,000. 50, around 50,000. Yeah. yeah. Around like 40,000 sometimes, sometimes 60,000, but it's always 50,000 euros in Germany. If you build in India, probably it's mm. not so expensive. Yeah, material is a little bit cheaper there yeah. compared to what we buy here. Labor work is also cheaper in uh, in other countries than in Germany. Yeah. Where after building this house yeah, on the truck, where we need to place the uh, house mm. and uh, what about like the rent of that land or how we need to take care about it? Well, in Germany, it's. Uh, it's very strict. In Germany, the laws are very strict. That means uh, you cannot you cannot just live in the streets. That's that's not legal in Germany. You always need a W partner. In this case, we have a W partner and a very nice garden in the center of the city. So we can stay here without paying any rent. What about bills? Like every month bills, uh, like how much you get here after living in tiny house. Say so suppose like people like me, if we buy a tiny house mm. and if we want to rent it out, mm. how much we can expect like person like me if I, if I want to move into a tiny house yeah. where I don't want to buy the house and I wanted to move into the tiny house on a minimum rent, <laughs> how much it will cost me? Well, we, uh, we are starting a project uh, in Lichtenberg where we put tiny houses and rent it out to people in need, like students or mothers with a child. And they actually pay just a few money. They pay five euros per square meter. So we have 15 square meters here, right? So 15 times five euros would be uh, like... Um, 75? 75 euros a month. It's only 75 euros a Rent. month. Plus, plus water, electricity and the, the, the community service. So I would say in total they would pay like 200, 250 per month. Having a personal room with all the facilities with the 200 in the, community. In the city. Yeah. It's, very, it's really cheap. Uh, in, in Germany, you know, in Berlin, you need to pay like at least, at least 500 for, for a 
small room in a good area and if you want to rent uh, an apartment with two rooms or three you have to go like in good areas uh, 1000 euros and more per month and like what about like you said like it would cost approximately 40000 to 50000 euros uh, to build a tiny house yeah so what is there any bank which will give loan or any EMI facility, monthly installment facility, something you are arranging for people who wanted to live in, I mean, have their own tiny houses? Well, actually, living in tiny houses is still not legal, so um, you cannot get support from the government. Mm. The movement just started like five years ago in Germany. It's quite new. Maybe in five years we have different laws. I hope so. I fight for that moment that someday we uh, we can change the law and say that once you have a tiny house put in the streets in the center of the city you don't have to pay rent and you can stay there as long as you take care also of the society and the neighborhood you always need the sharing and caring uh, rule you know if you just live in the streets then I would say no it's not okay because it's not right you know to take public space for private use but if you take public space to give something back to the public. Thank you so much, Wanbo, for having your time and inviting me to your tiny house and showing completely how it is and explaining about tiny house, which I was so much fascinated about. Mm. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. You're welcome, Rupesh. See you again. Bye-bye.